Hello guys, it's Monday, it's March 26th, and today is the day that I get to share my thoughts on the Beatles with you wonderful Beatle people. I was uh, reading an article on Beatles news about the Paul is Dead rumor. Now, for those of you hardcore Beatles fans, you know that years and years ago, there was a rumor about Paul McCartney being dead. We all know that it was a hoax. But thanks to Twitter, that rumor has come back. And now everybody thinks that Paul is dead. Now let me let me uh, explain something um, to those that think he is dead. Paul is alive and well and is able to perform as 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 well as he used to when he was 20 but you got to understand the man is is alive and well i mean you can't just say that because some person said that he's dead you can't just jump to conclusions and say that he is in fact dead you got to get your facts straight you know Paul McCartney is alive and well, and I know for a fact that he is alive. You know, he brings a lot of joy into every single one of his fans, and he puts in a lot of effort in all of his performances. Paul is a very unique person. Uh, for a man his age, He's pretty damn good because if my grandfather was still around and he and he was Paul's age, he would have retired years ago. But Paul, for for his age, he's pretty damn good because I don't think any other man his age would still continue to write music and making millions and millions of people happy and continuing the Beatles legacy you know people his age would have retired years ago um, but Paul is still going strong and let's pray that he will stay strong for the years forthcoming and with Ringo also he he's a very healthy man, just as healthy as Paul. I don't know if you guys heard, but uh, I think a month ago they said that Ringo was rushed to the hospital because he had pneumonia or something like that. And if you know Ringo, well, Ringo, when he was a young kid, he was a very sick kid actually, and that's why he was homeschooled for the majority of his childhood. So he never got to go to a normal school. He had to be homeschooled because he was sick. Even during during the Beatle years, he had his tonsils taken out. For a guy his age, he's pretty healthy. You know, he's he's looking good for for a guy his age. I'm pretty impressed with both Beatles and how they've come this far in life. I pray that they will continue to be healthy and hopefully continue the Beatles legacy because I know for a fact that the Beatles are immortal. Not just Paul and Ringo, but all four of the Beatles will stay immortal forever because, you know, if Paul passes away and Bringo passes away, it won't be the end of the Beatles. People will continue their legacy and will continue to love their music. I mean, the Beatles in general, they were for... they were four men that revolutionized a generation. It didn't seem like it took a lot of effort to change a generation, you know. For four men to change a generation over the course of a decade, that's pretty damn good. I mean, I don't think Justin Bieber could do that. You know, it'd probably take him years to do that. You know, uh, like Lady Gaga or 
I don't know, Nicki Minaj. I don't think they'll be able to do that. So that's what sets the Beatles apart from any other any other musical groups. The Paul is dead thing isn't really uh, true. Paul just released a new album, Kisses on the Kiss Kisses on the Bottom, I believe it's called. So you know, come on now, the man is still alive and well, and we know for a fact that he is. That's all. That's all I wanted to talk about, really. If you guys have any questions about anything I talked about today or the Beatles in general, leave a comment in the down bar. I guess I'll see you guys next week with more real news and more weekly things to talk about. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.